Yeah, hello everybody, Elsa Farmer here, and welcome to Rennebu. Um, this is uh, a Norwegian map that uh, recently came out for uh, PC and Mac players. Uh, so I thought, well, let me just try at least on a let's play on this bomb. Um, so I started here on Farm Manager. Uh, I have done some changes. I'm, you know, um, I'm role playing. Role playing. <laughs> I'm role playing that you know this is a farm that my father and mother has, and I'm taking over gradually. So this is my house, uh, a new build house, and my parents are living in this old house. So I've done some changes uh, to the farm here. Uh, where are we? Most and forward. Uh, I have bought this farm here with these three fields. And I also bought a forestry area. You know, in case we don't have too much to do in the winter time. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen this map, this is, yeah, Rennebu. And it's a big one. Unfortunately, only for PC and Mac players, and I don't have any uh, Let's Play on my PC, so this might go on. I have to see. I really like the map, though. Uh, this is a Hayloft input here. This is uh, this is nice input here. This can take grass, hay, silage, and straw, I think, and output over here. Uh, we have cows. This was uh, placed here by the map maker Ola Haldor. So I got 60 cows, and this is, you know, this is an old tractor from my old dad. So <laughs> he's got some old stuff on the on the farm, and I've, you know, upgraded it a little bit with some more newer things. Uh, other things that I have changed, I've also placed down this uh, machine shed here because there were no no sheds uh, on this farm. So yeah, I think this, if, I can't remember who this was by, but it is like a Scandinavian shed pack, I think it is. Uh, I've also placed down a bunker silo and some chickens. I haven't bought any chickens yet. Uh, let's go out of this flight mode state. Another cool thing, an old style thing, is uh, this guy here. This is the Serigsta Multicutter. This is, uh, well, in my old days, this is how they did grass work in Norway. <laughs> I remember my good old uncle, uh, he had one of these, um, and this is a uh, Underhaug, Underhaug um, trailer. These, these are all Norwegians. Uh, this is a pack which is called Norwegian Forage Harvester. You'll find it on King's Mods. So I'm gonna simulate that my old dad is gonna use this guy, uh, while myself I have some more uh, modern stuff in the machine shed. Uh, <laughs> this is more <laughs> my style. <laughs> this is a massive Ferguson 7S um, with 260 horsepower, is it? And of course a Kvernland Norwegian planter. Uh, I got a big old uh, plow here. We we got some really big fields here, so it's not a small uh, farm equipment, mid-sized to big. I also got uh, a more modern <laughs> combine harvester, a class uh, Lexion 8900. Uh, I got a forage um, forage wagon. Uh, I got like a mid mid-size uh, massive Ferguson this guy what, 150 190 horsepower and I also got this one this is also by the map maker Ola Haldor I'm pretty sure Orkel that's also a Norwegian brand 
you know I've been playing this game for two years now and I'm not used to uh, <laughs> using Norwegian equipment and this has a cool feature you can open the doors here and you can put in uh, you know pallets I like it uh, what else what else yeah of course a Kvernland uh, cedar Kvernland fertilizing spreaders and yeah you guessed it right Kvernland tether some grass work and I got this uh, beauty here, the case 300. Oh, I, I can't remember where I found it. I got the Quernlan uh, mowers. So yeah, most of these mods um, is from the mod hub actually. And uh, some of it, like this tractor here and the Massey Ferguson, both of the Massey Fergusons are from King's mods. And that's also where I found this one, actually. So, we got cows. And they need some food. So, I think, uh, yeah, my old dad is going to jump into this one here. This is, you know, I had a, <clears throat> a lot of trouble with connecting to this one. Uh, I did it completely wrong. I'm going to show you. Let's just connect this one. I hope I get it to work now. I haven't tried it with this uh, this uh, trailer, but yeah, <laughs> this is how they do it here. Uh, some of the farmers, the old time farmers here in my neighborhood, they have this kind of setup. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's disconnect that one. Because um, how I did it, no, let's see. Yeah, so to connect these correctly, I'm just gonna drive a little bit here so you get the feeling of it. Um, this guy here, this is the, the frame here. It's called Sergsta M1314 frame. These guys here, you will find uh, under miscellaneous, was it? Yeah, I think so. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, there we go. So you got the frame and you got the full husting pack. <laughs> Nothing much you can do with it. Uh, I Oh yeah, I've installed that. Uh, oh, you know what? I've installed that speed thing. But the thing is, this one here runs like uh, lightning. Um, so the, what I did wrong the first time, uh, you know, I backed up to there because I didn't know how to connect to it. So this is the only how way I got to connect to it. <laughs> and I thought this is totally wrong. And I was looking at the pictures, and yeah, everything was wrong. Okay, don't don't fall off. There we go. So yeah, obviously this uh, there's a PTO on the side here. So boop, this is the way to connect it. And then the trailer. When I tested this, um, yeah, like I said, the the speed on it was. Uh, there we go. All right. So I have a big old chunky grass wheel here. I'm not going to do the whole field with this guy, but at least my dad can do a little bit. Uh, whoa! I wonder if I've connected this wrong. Ah, oh, there we go. That's better. Alright, alright, okay. So, uh, you got pipe in and pipe out. And then it's just a matter of turn on header. There we go, and now I can, oh, there we go, uh, you can lower it, so you can lower it either manually, like this, L1, and right up and down, uh, the right stick up and down, uh, or you can just L1 and circle, let's see, L1 and circle, and lower it all the way down, I don't think that's a good idea, I'm gonna have it up like so, and I'm gonna lower it you can also tilt it like so l1 right stick uh, side to side so i think i'm gonna do a lower it maybe a little bit there we go 
And away we go. Now it's not the biggest one. It's, I think it was 1.5 meter. But look at the speed on this one. <laughs> the, the, whoa, 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 whoa. There's no speed limitations on this guy here. Oh yeah, that's the sound from Bex. I need to take a picture here. Alright, there we go. So I think I'm gonna set the cruise control to 20 kilometers an hour. Uh, let's see how that goes. Yeah, that's fast enough, I think. <laughs> I like it. It's gonna take a hot minute to take... Oh, all of... The oh, this is too fast. Uh, let's go down to 15. There we go. That's more like it. Oh, I'm missing some here. Um, yeah, so this grass field here, um, looking at my cows, I got 60 cows. And on this map, the cows need everything. Uh, well, they don't need everything, but to, to achieve to 100%, you need to give them TMR, silage, hay and grass. So, yeah, uh, let's see, I think. Yeah, for now, I c at least I can make silage, hay, and grass and get it to 60%. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna divide this um, uh, this field here into two. So I'm gonna make grass in one of the half and hay on the other half. And uh, do, 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 do. yeah, the hay I'm gonna put in my hay loft. And the grass I'm gonna put in partially. No, I'm gonna put it in my bunker silo, of course. So how I think these guys works, uh, because when you are full here now, let's see, let's uh, fill up this beauty here. Let's just put it on cruise control. Okay, 20 kilometers an hour, we can do that. Are we full already? There we go. So now we are full. And how I think they did it in the good old days is they just disconnected the... No, not that one. Uh, that one. You know, and they just left it here. And away they go into the um, hayloft. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I'm not a farmer, as you can tell, but uh, this is the way I think, thought, or think they did it. So I'm not gonna put it in my um, uh, multi-fruit silo. I'm gonna back it up into her. This is the half the beauty of the job to do this. Whoa, 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 bad backing. We should get the trigger up here, hopefully. There we go. There we go. Oh, <laughs> look at that going. So now we have grass inside here. And let's see. Let's just test out this guy here now. Now I should be able to uh, pull out some grass here. Why did I put... Yeah, so hay, potatoes. <whistles> hay, potatoes, silage, grass. Yeah, alright. And straw? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, those... those uh, I mixed up now. I was supposed to put the grass into... Uh, my bunker silo, because we need to make silage. Well, this is my dad driving, so... Whoa, 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 it's a... This is a quick one. <laughs> uh, the only thing you cannot do with this guy here is to hire a worker. So if I pull up here now, and... 
connect to this guy turn it on and lower it like so there we go so yeah let's see where's my help window um, bum, bum, bum. oh yeah yeah you know what yeah so I cannot hire a worker with this uh, a thing that I have installed which I felt was missing here uh, let's see is this guy here <laughs> you know one of the biggest export uh, items from Norway is uh, salmon so I've placed down a fishery and I've used this before it's been a while but uh, this is uh, a fishery where <laughs> it's a strange recipe but what you put in here is uh, corn and out on this side you will get uh, pallets with uh, fish so looking at the production facility let's see there yeah corn <laughs> and you're getting fish out and what i also had to do is i had to place down a cell point for this i have like a, a cell point which is um which can take more or less everything and i think i put it there yeah i put it just down here uh, at the farm just across from the um, shop uh, but now you know what this guy is gonna jump into it and I need to uh, more or less I need to divide the field oh this seems a little bit heavy for this guy here let's see well, how many horsepower do I have on this guy here a chunky boy uh, that's one of the medium tractors no large tractor 413 yeah should be doing it let's see let's unfold that one let's unfold this guy and let's see where's the middle <laughs> where's the middle uh, I'm thinking maybe straight down here maybe so let's see how should I do this um, toggle work mode I'm gonna put it on SWAT uh, yeah because the grass I need in SWAT so the other half uh, I'm gonna do wide spreading and then we need to run over with a tether uh, and then windrow it. Oh, I don't have a windrow. All right, all right. But as you can see, I have some work to do here. So I'll see you in a hot second. So, um, you probably saw it, or if you didn't see it, saw it uh, I did uh, experience that this bunker silo here does not work. Uh, it does come up here, fill level chaff and compacting. 
But I were not able to empty this guy in it. With grass. So, I, you know, first of all, I thought uh, maybe this will make the grass chaff. But if I go into my silo now, I can see that I don't have any chaff, but uh, I have grass. Uh, 28,000 liters of grass, so it is a mower, so to speak. But, yeah, it's a strange one. Like, it could be a mod conflict. It could be um, to, to the bunker silo itself. So what I need to do now, I need to pick up the grass um, with this guy, at least half of the field. Let's see, well, do, 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 do. you know what, I'm gonna go here, I think. And yeah, I have filled it up with bone silage, silage additive, uh, unfold. Oh, okay. Oh, never used this one before. <laughs> this uh, loading wagon is uh, an in-game one, so nothing special with this guy. The only special thing is that I have this, um, what do you call it, the speed mod, so it can go up to, I think it's 25 kilometers an hour. So I'm going to fill up this one, and let's see if this one can uh, drop some grass into the uh, silage clamp. Yeah, so I need to think here now. So, some of the grass I need to put in the hayloft, and some of the grass into the um, bunker silo, and I need to make some hay. And I found a solution. Um, I did everything in SWAT now, but I have a tether. I have a really nice tether which can make uh, grass. Well, swatted grass into uh, hay. Alright, I'm just gonna fill up this one and I'll see you in a hot second. Alright, alright, here we go. Pottinger cows. We got 46,000 liter. Now oh, this has to work. Uh, the bunker silo I have is a part of the... Uh, what's the blinking? Is it my computer? Is it <laughs> uh, the bunker silo, I'm pretty sure, is a part of the uh, Hessian uh, farm pack. Now, let's see. Come on, buddy. Now I need to get the trigger up here. No, not the trigger, but at least that I can... Ooh, I'm stuck. Oh, uh, come on, buddy. You got 260 horsepower. <laughs> and yeah, I got a mod that uh, extends or, you know, increase the uh, amount of smoke actually coming out of the chimney. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Now we should be in a position. L1, R1. Uh, what is going on? Why can't I unload her? Ay, ay, ay. Um, now this is gonna be a turn on loading wagon. No, I need... Okay, there, I'm on the loading wagon. Uh, but nothing is working. Lower pickup, turn it on. No, I don't need that. Ay, ay, ay. Um... I cannot, this cannot be performed here? Why? This is the, uh, let's see, silo extensions, isn't it? No, silos. It's this one here? Yeah, it's this guy here. From the Bavarian pack, not the Hessian pack. Ja. I guess it's the same with this guy. 
Oh, shoot. Um, I have these guys. This is too big. This is too big. This is too big. <laughs> this one? No, Manjori. Oh man, what to do? What to do? Uh, I don't have any other. Uh, these ones, maybe. Ooh. Kind of big. Uh, but you know what? We could test it out. The first thing I need to do, I need to demolish this one. This guy here. Oh, what a... <laughs> Alright, and then I need to uh, get this out of the way. Come on, this has to work now, buddy. Uh, construction, uh, silos. Which one was it again? Uh, was it this one? Oh, this one fits perfectly. <gasps> Come on, you need to work, buddy. I need to get you as far as back as I can, like so. Bam. All right, all right, all right. Change of plans. Oh, how did that go out uh, economically? Uh, I didn't see on that. Oh. Yeah, I have started with a hundred thousand to make it at least some kind of realistic. Uh, I did start on. Oh, come on. What? This has got to be the map. I'm not allowed to... Uh, I'm on the wagon. No, nothing. <laughs> I've got grass. What am I missing here? What am I doing wrong? Uh, is it the tractor? Could it be a mod conflict with the tractor? Let's uh, let's jump in uh, this guy here. <laughs> no, it can't be. That's that's too. Uh... No, 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 no. Alright, connected. L1, R1, nothing. I cannot... This is an in-game loading wagon. And... Looking at here, yeah. Fill level, chaff, compacting. It's been a while since I've done loose silage, but this is... Uh, getting worrying. Um... I need to think. All right, all right. This is the last uh, last option I have. Uh, <laughs> I have a, some production facilities which can make me uh, silage, and it's these guys here by Stevie Mod. Uh, so this one uh, will make silage and digestate out of. Um, why is it overlapping? I want to have two of these guys. Ooh, don't tell me. I can only fit one in here. Alright, okay. I'm gonna place this one here. Bam! Whoa! <laughs> okay. Uh, so this is gonna make me silage and uh, what I also have is uh, let's see this uh, let's see this one here will make uh, TMR so of course okay I'm crashing with myself probably but anyway uh, let's at least try this one now this has to work I'm on the trailer so this is hopefully it's gonna make oh there we go start overloading Arra, arra, arra. there we go i don't see anything here 
Uh, but if I go into construction now, not that one, but this one. Uh, grass. Why do I have two? Oh, okay. I can choose the either grass or chaff. So I'm gonna put it on grass. Bam. The silage is being stored. And I'm also getting digestate, which I can use for fertilizer. Uh, I'm getting 500 liter out of 500 liter. So yeah. All right. Uh, I lost some money, but anywho. Uh, so to make hay. Where are we there, buddy? I got this one. <laughs> the Elho TR300. This is in, uh, not an in-game, but this is... Um, um, this is um, a, a tether actually, which is uh, you can find it on the mod hub. And what I really like about this one is that you can um, you can make uh, spotted grass into spotted hay, so to speak. And you can do some uh, changes to it also. Uh, let's see, what was it? L1 and right stick up and no, oh, that's the door. Uh, how did I do this? Rotate crane. Selected work mode. Toggle work mode. Yeah, that was... Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Alright. Let's test it out with this old fellow here. The old Ursus. So, let's see. Let's see. Let's see that, buddy. Alright, so... Uh, R1, L, work mode, 0 0.5 meter, 75, 1 meter, 125, or 275. So that's the opening, how big the spot is going to be behind you. I'm going to put it on the minimum. I'm going to turn it on, lower it, and there we go. And this one doesn't require that much horsepower either. Uh, let's see, where are we? It's under tethers. And it's this guy here. This will only require 30 horsepower. And like I said, you will find this in the mod hub. It's not... Uh, I think it's for all platforms. Yeah. Can I hire a worker? Bam. Yeah. But it's only going to take one line at a time, I think. But yeah, it's a, it's a great tool. It reminds me a little bit about the... Uh, on FS19, we had a tether called the Hay Bob. But what's the worker going to do now? Let's see. <laughs> Is he going to find the next line? <laughs> I don't think so. He's, oh, he's just going to go straight back and forward. Alright, alright. I need to do it. No worries. Oh, my telephone is calling. Uh, yeah, so... But anyway... Oh, it's... Uh, I think that's going to be it for the first episode here at Rennebu. At least we got... Oh. We got some uh, grass work uh, going on, and uh, we can start to feed the cows, actually. Oh, this only has 45 horsepower. It's struggling a little bit up the hill, sir. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you the next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.